Today marks the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month, a time to reflect on the highlights and achievements of contributions of Colorado's Hispanic community. Tonight, Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo takes us back in time to show us how Rodolfo Gonzalez fought to give Hispanics a voice and a presence, not just in his home state, but across our nation. Fans chanted his name in the boxing ring. Resist, it booms in your ears. And when he retired, Rodolfo Gonzalez, known as Corky, championed the Chicano movement known as El Movimiento in the streets of Denver and across the U.S. in the 1960s and 70s. He had many lives, you know, athletic and uh, family and author and civil rights leader. Cavern of your minds and plants itself in fertile terrain. Photo here is of my father and Cesar Chavez who was an incredible leader. Between 1965 and 1975, the Chicano movement became the largest civil rights empowerment fight led by Mexican descent people in the United States. You don't have to spell oppression. Your people are oppressed. Chicano sought empowerment after decades of exploitation and discrimination. Addressed uh, injustice, the inequity, the inequality, and the violence that is uh, that is poverty in this country. The Mile High City is cited as the urban center of the civil rights movement. It laid out the agenda for change. Together, together, because one only hand, one strong body. Change led by Corky. He founded the crusade for justice in Denver and led hundreds in the Poor People's March to Washington, fueling the fire for change. For years, Chicanos endured segregation and racism at Denver Public Schools. And in 1969, Corky joined students in a protest at West High School, a violent face-off that led to his arrest and progress. The most uh, incredible items of legacy that he left to us was the legacy of to stand up when uh, you need to for yourself and for your community. Corky was the son of a Mexican migrant, his mother, was a native Coloradan. He was born and raised in Denver's tough east side barrio and went on to make history. A leader in a movement hailed a success. A Denver library bears his name, tells his story and celebrates his life and legacy. Paintings of him hang on the wall next to photos of his activism. Being one of the most instrumental uh, around uh, Mexican-American and Chicano registration of voters. He penned a poem cited at rallies and protests as Chicanos fought for equality. He wrote, I am Joaquin. Influential writing brought to life to this day. La raza, Mexicano, Espanol, Latino, Hispano, Chicano, or whatever I call myself. I look the same, I feel the same, I cry and sing the same. Corky ran for mayor in Denver in 1976, a fight he lost, but he won a title in 1988. The world-renowned boxer was inducted into the Colorado Sports Hall of Fame. His story is one of a champion that fought in the ring and fought for his community. A supporter wrote, You were the rock that moved and an avalanche followed. Corky injected pride, orgullo, into the rich Chicano culture and its indigenous roots. Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.